Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Atlanta season two, episode three. This episode is called Money Bag Shouty. This show is so dang old funny. I laughed literally through this entire episode. Like I was in tears. The writing, oh, the the writing and the timing. The timing is everything, and they gave it to us. Make sure y'all hit like, comment, subscribe. I am not the queen of waves, so if y'all want to drop a king, a queen of waves joke, you got me all the way messed up. Cause like I told you last week. These twists are up in here. All of that extraness with Tracy, no ma'am, no sir. It was stunt day. It was stunt day. It was like tax season, AKA his big payday. And I'm not sure how much that check was, but he was having a good time. And you know, dang oh well, you can't, whether, whether it's Deion Sanders, Brett Favre, uh, Ricky, Ricky Williams, any athletes, you have to remember, unless it's that refrigerator dude, unless it's some linebacker who is currently like eating a whole uh, vacuum sealed ribeye, don't mess with his real Mike Vick will burn you and earn boy stop. One of my favorite seasons episodes was a club scene when I definitely felt like he channeled some Dave Chappelle. The record might skip, might skip. Tell me if you guys thought about the Chappelle show when he was in the club and the DJ was like, hey, yo, you. So let's start this one out with Lily's mom on Instagram. She's mad because Paperboy got them lyrics. Paperboy, Paperboy, we all up about that Paperboy. For those of y'all that are into hip hop, I have to break for a second. What do you think about Future with the King's Dead? Every time I hear that point of the song, I'm just like, what am I listening to? Back to our scheduled program. Paperboy out here, y'all. He out here with a tree trunk. And <laughs> Lily's mom was upset that her daughter knew the lyrics. Hey, guess what? Get off social media. Maybe you shouldn't be on Instagram. Maybe you should be talking to your daughter. Boop. Talking crap about him. But in the end, you know, you may think you're slandering someone's name, but you're really making them bigger. You're making them bigger. You're making them trend. You're making them grow you're spreading the name it's just like when you hashtag a certain thing more people are drawn to it when you're trending everybody flocks to it because they want to see it it's almost like that fight it's the fight in high school in the middle of the lunchroom you're not running away from it you're running towards it so the waiter wanted to be put on i thought that was hilarious because is this Donald Glover? It's like, is this his life low key? Like, you know, I'm at, maybe he was like with his writers. He was like, yo, I'm at a restaurant. People coming up to me. We watched the Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown show when everybody was coming up wanting an autograph. And she's like, yo, I'm eating. And here they are trying to kick it and chill amongst each other. And this waiter's like, hey, I got y'all shots, but you're going to have to put me on. Like, he don't owe you anything. You gave him $20 worth of drinks. Now he's supposed to give you $20 million worth of a career. That's not right. Respect space. Respect people's space and time. So, the concert tickets. If his, if his girlfriend was supposed to go with her friend and she played the whole VIP. Like, we gonna go there together, but we gonna sit separately. Girl, please, I wouldn't do it either. That's bogus. A couple years ago. There was this huge deal with Harriet Tubman. I don't think it happened. I haven't seen her at a store. The bank hasn't gave me anything back or the ATM. So they were, that was funny to sprinkle that in there. He can't spend his dang on hundred dollar bill. It was, just, it was a funny theme throughout the episode. Now we get to the chase the rapper kind of character who's got the contract. He's a famous dude, kind of crazy at the same time, who does not drink alcohol. He does not smoke, but he's in the booth talking about smoking, smoking green and sipping Henny. Really? But who knows? I mean, that's no different than a lot of rappers and artists out there that stars out and they talk about Maybachs, Lamborghinis and mansions when, when that's not their situation. What are we doing right now? Their lyrics reflect a different lifestyle than what they're living. Oh, the stunt game. Stunt game. That's what this was. This episode could easily be called stunt season. We at the club and the whole club scene, we saw it coming. I'm like, please let them pull up in a limo. Yes. Please let them go to the VIP. Yes. Yes. Can it be some messed up strippers? Oh, wonderful. Just, just getting it, getting it, getting it. Like I said in the last review, I strongly feel 
earn a, a strongly feel paperboy is going to have someone whisper in his ear the wrong thing paperboy wants to be successful he wants the money he wants success he wants to be the household name like his like the other people on his label however he doesn't know if he can get there with the management that he has aka earn his cousin so will he go for a different manager and that will ruin his relationship with his cousin who's just now trying to get his money right just trying to get right with his girl trying to get on his feet and will he sacrifice blood family over a dollar Harriet Tubman I don't know but it looks like that's in his forecast uh, funny episode I like how they're continuing with Tracy the wave the king of the waves shouts out to everybody that holds it down in the comment section uh, Timothy and no y'all know this is y'all show that about that. Kept it. It was good timing. That's all I can say. Anyway, y'all, until the next time, peace.